Hello friends, welcome to our channel Google Galaxy. Today we are going to discuss on the topic chemical bonding. It means that more than one atom or I can say more than two atoms are chemically combined. They form a bond and it is known as chemically bonding. One thing to be learned that everything in this world is made up of atoms. This, note, this notebook is not a made up of single atom, it, is, it consists of numerous atoms that are uncountable. Similarly, this marker is made up of millions, trillions or I can say uncountable atoms. When those atoms combined, they form a molecule. When those molecules are combined, they form element. When elements are com combined, they form compound and that compound may be known as marker and that compound may be known as this paper okay if I am having a glass of water if I am having a glass of water it means it is H2O if I am drinking water it means I am not drinking anything I am just drinking the atoms the two atoms the two atoms or I can see the force that hold together the different elements in a molecule is called chemically is called chemical bond when a kind of force hold the different atoms in the form of molecule we say a chemical bonding is exist in this molecule as I told earlier that everything is made up of atoms yes it's true that this glass of water is is not containing a single piece of molecule it consists of million trillions it, consti it consists of million trillions or I can say if I'm having 18 gram of water how, how I know 18 gram I'll just calculate the molecule formula. How we can calculate the molecule formula? By calculating the molecule formula, the overall value is 18 gram. It means that if I am having 18 gram of water in this glass, and this 18 gram of water contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms, it means that I am drinking this much amount of atoms, this much amount of molecule which are chemically combined together so again everything is made up of atoms learn this term it is similar uh, this is analogous to biology a as I say the cell uh, the smallest part of the body is cell when we combine the cell they form tissue tissue combined to form organ organ combined to form organ system then organism so if I just break the organism, it will break down into organ system. When I break the organ system, it will turns in, turns into organ. Organ breaks down to tissue. Tissue breaks down to cell. The smallest part of the body is cell. Similarly, in the in the in the field of chemistry, in the field of chemistry, the smallest part in the world is atom. When we combine the atoms, they form the molecule. Maybe one molecule, maybe number of atoms to form one molecule when we combine the molecules they form an element when the elements combine when the elements combine how they can combine chemically combine they form compound and that compound named as paper that compound made named as ink and that compound made up uh, made the marker now how they how the element how the atoms combine they combine by chemical means one thing to be learned we cannot separate the atoms by physical means we cannot separate the atom if I just put hand in this glass of water I cannot separate by physically means by pulling out the hydrogen or oxygen why we cannot pull in pull out why we cannot separate the hydrogen or oxygen by physical means because they are chemically combined so, according to the two scientists named as Lewis and Cossel, 
they proposed a theory we called it theory as electronic theory of chemical bonding or i can say chemical bonding they proposed the theory they proposed the name chemical bonding according to this theory an atom make a bond to become stable to become stable and have and to acquire minimum energy one thing to be learned this the whole chapter is based on these two points so what's our purpose to uh, why to uh, why two atoms combine to become stable and to acquire the minimum energy and to acquire the minimum energy minimum energy results the most stability so following these two rules every atom easily made easily make bond if the bond is existing between the hydrogen and oxygen it means they both of both of the atoms will definitely follow these two rules that both are having the minimum energy thereafter they become stable and they form the molecule known as h2o known as h2o so again we will say according to the chemical bonding theory this stability that the these two things are achieved by three types of bond it may be through this the whole thing is explained by lewis and the causal not me clear okay so again that this type of bonding is achieved by transfer of electron from one or more transfer of electron i repeat again complete transfer of complete transfer of electrons it means if the atoms become stable and acquire minimum energy by complete transfer of electrons we call this theory as ionic bond we call this bond as ionic bond this is whole under the theory of chemical bonding we call it as ionic bond or we can say electrovalent bond the two name of this electron transfer is one is ionic bond and another name is electro electrovalent bond so don't get confused ionic bond the second one if there is case that the two atoms combined in contribute sharing one or more atoms when atoms share two or i can say one one two or more than or more we call this theory as one thing to be learn there is complete transfer when there is complete transfer we call it as electron valent bond when there is sharing existing between the two atoms it means we are talking that bond is called covalent bond now the covalent bond basically another uh, another type of bonding is called hydrogen bonding we are going to discuss later so so far we you need to just remember these points but the overall purpose of these all kinds of bonding is to become stable and acquire the minimum energy these things you must have to learn or i can say you must have to cram cram otherwise you will not understand this chapter the third one is we are having the hydrogen bonding and the fourth one we are having the van der waal forces van der waal it is based on the name of the scientist van der waal forces these two type these two types of bonding exist and the another type is metallic bond another type of bonding is metallic bond these three types of bonding arises because of molecular attraction between the covalent bond so it so we can say these three are the part of covalent bond so these are so these are the three uh, these are the part of covalent bond so again why this uh, why this th uh, why this concept arise why three uh, forces are arises because of intermolecular attraction intermolecular interaction inter 
molecular attraction between molecules this thing to be learn okay again the force that hold the different atoms in a molecule is called as chemical bond is called as chemical bond another thing you need to learn that the uh, except noble gases except noble gases The, these gases are also known as inert gases inert gases they belongs to the group number 18 of periodic table group 18 we called it as also zero group we called it as zero group these atoms which are known as noble gas elements and the atoms can not form chemical bond why so they do not form do not form any bond any bond they do not form any bond because their outermost octet outermost octet is complete so we can say they they do not participate in chemical bonding yes there are few exceptions that are not explained by the lewis sir uh, yes there are few exceptions but overall we can say few exceptions few exceptions leaving this few exceptions few exceptions we can say that 18 group do not form any bond it means chemical bond yes there are few few exceptions you, uh, we need to learn or we can say we need to cram so if somebody told you that the uh, group 18 forms any bond you will say yes they are having the few exceptions but um, but overall we can say they do not form any chemical bond the atoms never ever exist independently so again so uh, so they do not exist in independently so they form the chemical bond when they uh, form chemical bond um, uh, by acquiring the minimum energy and become stable when those atoms doing so it means they are completing their octet it means they are complete their complete their octet octet it may be 8 if i just say magnesium uh, magnesium is having 2 8 2 if if it lose two electrons two electrons it will form 2,8 so it forms so it is a part of ionic bond i am going to discuss further you will have just to learn for the time being that uh, when they complete their octet they become stable when they become stable they are having the minimum energy so after getting the inert gas configuration this configuration is known as inert gas configuration configuration after getting the inert gas configuration now they are able to form any type of bond it may be ion bond covalent bond metallic bond hydrogen bonding we are going to discuss step by step okay